Hi everyone, it is your girl Blessie coming at you with a new video and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. This channel is all about personal growth so if you're looking to make a little change in your life then you've come to the right channel and if you want to see future videos please click that subscribe button and turn on post and notification and uh, yeah so if you do end up taking anything out of this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Or if you just generally like it, then yeah, thumbs up. And feel free to share with your friends, family, and whoever. And yes, we can finally get started now. So Google defines a toxic person as someone that is poisonous or very harmful. And it seems to me that it kind of like speaks volumes because when we now go through like the different characteristics of a toxic person you realize that they're there as a way that like is literally harmful to us our own growth but let's actually jump into it really understanding what a toxic person is okay so for the purpose of this video we'll be focusing on four main traits of a toxic person so the first one is they're the enemy of progress what do i actually mean by this is like let's say you've achieved something great like in your perspective and like they're not sharing in your same excitement or like you can feel like the the congratulations or like I'm so happy for you is not very genuine and that person right there is bad mind that that's an enemy of progress and you don't want that person in your life because that means that day in and day out as we go along they will always not be happy for you for achieving things and like if like if you keep that type of energy in your life that will become draining and obviously like being in the framework of like this channel and how it's all about like personal growth and like making sure that you grow as a person and like achieve your best and all of that if you have someone like that they will bring you back they will not like make you feel comfortable with like your successes and like now you're kind of like always hiding like your successes from other people and like not being proud of like the things that you just achieved you've achieved so far so like in that sense that's not someone you should have around you because they will not want to see you progress and why would you want that in your life you know what i mean so pers the toxic person number two is um when you're having a conversation with them they will always bring it back to themselves and this i've had people like that in my life and i'm like how do you do it because how i just like think like how do you always make everything to be about you you know what i mean like don't you ever want to like you know listen to other people but for you like for them to like turn the conversation on them that means that like, whenever something's going on with you you can't go to them to like you know like you can't rely on them to be there to listen to you when you want to rant because the rant will turn into them like ranting about their own situation and obviously you don't want to be around that because you want to you want to be around people that you know you can easily freely talk to without every conversation to go back to them and it's really bad to be around people that are just like focused so much on themselves that every conversation needs to be revolved around them because you end up not learning from that conversation like i feel like every new conversation you enter is like a new thing you learn like even if it's like the stupidest thing like I don't know, like, oh, that ice cream from Iceland is like £1.29 instead of £1. Like, from that conversation, you've learned something, you know what I mean? It's like, but if they're always talking about them, it's like, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've, heard, oh, yeah I've heard this thing before, yeah, okay, cool. And you just end the zone out, like, it's not great. Like, it's not something you want to, like, obviously be listening to. Like, that's a broken record, like, eventually, like, how many stories do they actually have about themselves? I don't think that they have that many, you know what I mean? Hmm. And number three, so the, num uh, the third trait of a toxic person is they will literally make you doubt yourself. So by this, I mean like, let's say, I don't know, you've got like some insecurities and you share it with them and like they use that as a way to kind of like manipulate you. So it's like, oh, are you sure you're going to post that? Like, cause, um, I feel like your thighs look too big in those. But the picture is absolutely stunning type of thing. It's like, um, they use your insecurities to bring you down or like they notice certain things about you that they know you would be insecure about and they just use it to bring you down and like for you to kind of like, this uh, like, not have as much confidence in yourself and not really understanding like your value and that's not good because like 
that will translate in other elements of your life so it might just start off from like i don't know like instagram picture but afterwards it might translate to like job applications actually do you think you have the right skills for that it's like mm, i think so like <laughs> you know what i mean it's like um you have to make sure that the people around you are those that are encouraging of you you know what i mean um so they're always bigging you up they like even when you like achieve something little they're like oh my gosh like you think you can't get that job girl you you did this and you're like but that that's not like big but in reality it is like you need people that are always thinking the biggest of you because those pe type of people will make you flourish as a person they will literally like make you envisage like the greater version of yourself before you even get to that point whereas the uh, the former the other people they will literally make you see like some like low ass version of yourself before you like that version ever even cross your mind like that version shouldn't even ever cross your mind because that's that's a version that doesn't exist and shouldn't need to exist and you shouldn't let other people create that picture for you you know what i mean like you need people that help you like create that positive picture of yourself like oh my gosh that that that's gonna be me like in a few years time or in a few months time like that's the type of energy that people should be translating in your life and you need to embrace that so if there's someone that's bringing you down in your life then you know that you gotta cut them out and like social media has made it so easy these days you can mute people you can block people like you can just get rid of them <laughs> i'm so sorry plants they're fake so it's fine <laughs> um but so no plants were hurt during this video um but seriously speaking like get rid of them they, they're not adding any value to your life just get rid of them and speaking about adding value the trait number four that you may notice in a toxic person is actually that they don't reciprocate the same energy so like let's say you bring some sort of energy to the friendship the relationship wherever and it's like you bring certain things to the table but they are not bringing the same like level of like energy like effort into the relationship themselves and it's like okay so where do we go from here you can't always like expect other people to like always be providing when you're not providing yourself you know what i mean and it's like understandable that on another from another perspective is if i check up on you like i don't know like once a month like sometimes check up on me too you know what i mean it's like it's, it doesn't hurt you know like i feel like for, with some friendships if one like if one person in that friendship never did anything that friendship would die and that that's already sick that's speaking volumes like that's actually speaking volumes because that means that the friendship is not solid it's that's not a strong relationship you have with that person and uh, that person might need to go for me it's important to like channel to you guys that it's okay to get rid of them however you do it uh if you want to break it to them like it's a breakup like however you want to do it um just do it uh because once you get rid of them you will f feel like much more free like there will be like less stress and like it just feels like a different world and you just start like being able to prioritize yourself more and understand that you can't be taken for mug you know you can't be taken for mug anymore you don't have mug written written on your forehead and no one can like step over you you know there won't be anyone channeling any negative energy so like every single time you'll be able to always be channeling that positive energy and i can speak from experience like i i've had some people that are, were literally leeching on my energy by like they will say such very negative things like that will <clears throat> imply like no progress like oh this is how it's going to be forever this is not nice like th this is just so negative and i'm like I don't want this anymore like I know what I want for myself um I've had a taste of it like once I branched out to like different like friendship groups and like actually got to know different people I realized that that energy that they have such <clears throat> positive energy is what I wanted so when I realized that I was like you gotta go <laughs> you gotta pack your bags and leave the door is open you know what I mean you can <laughs> leave as, as big sean said i don't mm -mm, with you you know um so they just gotta leave you know what i mean and it's okay because you gotta grow as a person you gotta move on and um, 
yeah all right guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and actually took something away from it if you have been a victim of a toxic person then it is okay it's not the end of the world you can get rid of them and move on to better things and if you want to learn about how to make re uh, meaningful relationships and valuable relationships with people that will be one of the next two videos it's going to be either the one that's consecutive like coming right after this one or there's going to be one in between the two uh, but uh, that's going to be one of the, like that's going to be one of the next videos and uh, I just want to thank you all just for watching like getting through the whole video I really appreciate it if you give if you could give this video a big thumbs up I would really appreciate it and like subscribe and share this video with your friends like yeah um I will have to leave you guys here it was nice speaking to you guys this week and I'll see you guys in the next video bye